hold the pick, shake it back and forth. But you want to keep that thumb flexible. So what you're doing is when you when you go outward, you push with the thumb, and when you go inward, you pull back. Just like that. I'm over exaggerating. Okay. Now the next step is you you want to do it on the guitar. You want to do that shake, right? With the thumb up, push out, turn out, up push out. That's really an over-exaggeration. The real movement is really small like that, okay? So what you have to do is you have to do it without touching the string just to get that sense of gravity in your arm. See, you're shaking your arm back and forth, kind of like a vibrato almost with the left hand, right? You just shake back and forth and you keep your thumb flexible. What we're doing is we're strumming on one string, strumming on one string. So what you do is you hold your fingers and your hand up to the string and you, and you just get used to doing that and hold it there and shake it back and forth don't touch the string get the gravity and the balance feel the balance in your arm now these guys are always asking me what, what about so and so he he plays his fingers out here like this okay fine you know play with your fingers out here like this go ahead you know tons of guys do it but I want you to be aware of one thing you go like this and you shake your hand back and forth that's all that extra weight flopping around out there if you shake your hand back and forth now bring the fingers in and shake it aha you feel how much faster that is there's your answer pals if you bring your fingers in it's much tighter okay so when you're shaking on the string you're shaking your thumb and your fingers okay there's guys you can get to a really fast movement now the next thing is uh all these guys will take this exercise and they'll do this and they'll shake their fingers back and forth when they touch the string they start doing this I see it day in and day out all day long you don't want to stiffen up and just turn it into a stiff arm movement you know so it's the whole thing is supposed to be an organic loose sort of zinging around on the string kind of thing you know think of Indian music the tabla is just you know they're loose you know this is not rigid karate like this. This is kung fu, okay? This is loose. Loose, 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 loose. Shake it, you know? Zing it around. It's like strumming, you know? That's the answer to sarod picking. So you got to just hold it up there and then shake your fingers back and forth. Shake your wrist back and forth while you're moving the thumb and first finger. But don't touch the string. Do it for about three or four days like that. On the fourth or fifth day, then go slow. Touch the string. But you got that balance that you felt by zinging your wrist back and forth. You got that balance, see? You got to feel that balance point. See, it's, just, it's like a, a center of gravity. You got to work at it. Um, everybody's going to come up with their own way of doing it. And that's okay. Just do your own way, you know? I, I'm here to show you several different ways. I mean... I qualified my whole thing by explaining, look, there's guys that do it the opposite way I do, Steve Morris, Jimmy Glazer, and I mention them in my videos. So, you know, I'm telling you there's a ton of ways to do anything. But take it from me, I've studied this stuff for pretty much 30 years, and the students I teach it to, almost uh, all the students I've shown this to who do this style of picking, can play extremely well. In fact, a majority of my students, number one, have gone on to the Berklee College of Music or Musicians Institute or have joined touring bands or are teachers at other music stores. So my track record with other with students is pretty good. I mean, the ma most of the guys that I teach have gone on to Berklee College of Music or GIT or MI, what you want to call it. So that says something there. And, uh, you know, there's a couple of students of mine that you all know about that, you know, have gone on to really huge careers. But uh, that's not what this is about. This is about me showing you guys what I know because I feel like it. You know, this is YouTube, so you can say whatever you want to say. You know, it's the future of free speech in the free world. 
So I'm giving you all this stuff because you guys request it. And I'm here by email, pepperbrown at gmail.com. Go to my website. Whatever you guys want to ask me worldwide, just go ahead and feel free, you know? Um, at this point in time, I don't think I'm ever going to charge for this stuff. So it's just, I have, you know, a day job. I teach guitar at a university. I teach guitar. I have, you know, 100 private students. I teach at several locations. So this is just kind of what I do on the side for my enjoyment, really. So I enjoy teaching you guys a lot. And I'd like to see, you know, you guys use some of these techniques in your playing. So with that said, sound picking, speed picking, whatever you want to call it, you just got to work it. And don't be afraid to work it for, for like, you know, six months before you decide it sucks, okay? You can't just work it for one or two days and go, oh, uh, my hands hurt. Yeah. No, man, you got to work it really hard. You know, you got to sit there and like, Look at the calendar and say, okay, it's this month now. By next month, I want to go this speed, and then the month after that. you got to do like little six-month little plans for your technique, you know. And that's how it works. Okay, until next time, Pepper Brown, over and out.